News 9. Welcome back. A woman's arrested, accused of trying to burn down a Stillwater hotel. Strange one here. As it turns out, investigators say this isn't her only connection to arson. Our Bonnie Campos in the newsroom with the latest. Bonnie? Well, in late May, Darcy Ray Heisler was found at the Best Western Plus Cimarron Hotel and Suites with a gas can and lighter. But police say that arrest caused investigators to open up a case from back in 2017. And there's a woman who set a gas can on fire outside and she tried to do it inside, but she's walking away right now. Officers race to the scene. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Oh, she's, she's touching people. She's trying to harm someone. No one was hurt. Police find their suspect in the parking lot. They say soon Heisler confessed. She had originally been seen up on the second floor of that hotel carrying a gas can and playing with a lighter. While there was little damage at the hotel, that's not the only crime scene. Last November, there was a fire at Heisler's home. Once ruled an accident, the circumstances now seem oddly familiar to investigators. She had moved two gas cans hands into the house and at the time had stated that she accidentally tripped over one that was near a burning candle and that set the house on fire. Court documents say Heisler was found in the home after she barricaded herself in the upstairs bedroom. She's now charged with two counts of arson, one for her home, the other for the hotel. In both cases, records state Heisler had a gas can and lighter. Officers still don't know what brought her to the Best Western, but she left in the back of a cruiser. You know, did she stay there last night? I'm not sure. Did, did she say that she stayed here last night? She may have tried to leave the scene, but the, some hotel employees and bystanders uh, prevented her from doing that. Now she's facing a combined maximum sentence of 42 years in prison and $30,000 fine. Bonnie Campo, News 9.